New at 5.30, a homicide suspect makes a run for it, leading investigators on several chases. It's a story that's developed overnight and into this afternoon. Yeah, it all started just southwest of San Antonio in Pearsall before ending up in Dilly. That's where we find Lee Waldman tonight. Lee, what are police saying about all of this? Well, after several standoffs and chases throughout the small town of Dilly today, police say there is no more threat to the public. We spoke with Sergeant Adrian Ruiz with Dilly PD. He, as the, he says they worked with Parasalt PD, the Frio County Sheriff's Department, and Texas Rangers around 1130 this morning to arrest a man here in Dilly they say was involved in a homicide in Parasalt last night. Ruiz says when they approached the man in his vehicle, he refused to get out, and the first of three standoffs happened. The man took off to another nearby street. The second standoff ensued while the Texas Rangers spoke with him on the phone. He took off again, but law enforcement used spike strips to deflate his tires, and the chase was short. It ended around 3 p.m. on Highway 85 outside of Dilly, going towards Charlotte. Now, Ruiz says the man refused to get out of the car or speak with law enforcement, and a short time later, a gunshot was heard inside of the car. Officers performed CPR, and the man was taken by EMS to a local hospital. In a small town like Dilly, today's events were nothing short of shocking. For a tragedy like this to, to strike our small community, um, our officers will be very uh, diligent in making sure that, that the community is aware that we are here to protect them and do the best we can for them. At this point, we don't know that man's condition. Right now, we're still waiting on details about last night's homicide and also about that suspect's identity from Parasol Police. Live in Dilly, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.